let us have another example in this example we would like to solve for VA and R this example has two power supplies the top power supply has a positive value which reads 5 volts and the bottom power supply is negative value and that reads negative 5 volts again the arrow symbol for the power supply means that a plus 5 volts voltage source is connected to that node from a ground so as we move across the voltage source from ground to the top power supply the voltage gains 5 volts the negative voltage power supply the bottom one is connected to a 5 volts voltage source that is connected to ground now note that the polarity of that voltage source is positive on the ground end and negative on the power supply end that means as we move from the negative voltage power supply to ground the voltage gains 5 volts or as we move from ground to the negative voltage source we lose 5 volts so the voltage at the negative end is negative 5 and in electronics to make the drawing is much easier we remove those voltage sources and we use the arrow symbols instead again this kind of drawing we need to get used to it because that's the way we draw power supplies in electronic circuits now let us go back to the problem and try to solve for VA because we know the voltage at the top of the 3 kilo ohm resistor that is 5 volts and we know the value of the current that passing through that resistor which is 2.5 milliamp we can use ohm's law on the 3 kilo ohm resistor to solve for VA so we can state that VA is equal to 5 minus 2.5 milliamps times 3k the answer is negative 2.5 volts because we know the value of the voltage at the top of the resistor R that is VA we just solved for it to be negative 2.5 and the voltage at the bottom of the resistor R that is negative 5 volts and we know the current that's passing through it it is the same current that is flowing through the 3 kilo ohm resistor we can apply Ohm's law to solve for the resistor value R by Ohm's law we can state that R is equal to VA minus negative 5 over I it's the top voltage minus the bottom voltage over the current I need to stress this point here you have to precisely use the value of the voltage here so we're gonna say VA minus the negative 5 is basically like VA plus 5 right so pay attention when you do the arithmetics this is a common mistake in the exams under time pressure so make sure that when you apply Ohm's law use the arithmetics precisely anyway now because we know the value of VA to be negative 2.5 volts we just solved for it now we can state that R is equal to negative 2.5 minus the negative 5 over 2.5 milliamps and that is equal to 1 kilo ohm